Hey, everybody, and welcome to story time. I'm Pear, and if you're wondering why I'm in such an awesome mood today, it's because I just found out some incredible news. Orange will not be joining me today. Cue the celebration! Haha, <laughs> that's right. He's sending someone else to tell the story with me today, which means this episode will be 100% not annoying. Fantastic news! Wait. Should we get started? You're Orange's replacement? Sure am. Orange, you glad? <laughs> no! No, I'm not glad. You're practically worse. Oh, come on, Pear. Give me a chance. No! Please? No! Please? Blah, fine, fine. Just take a breath already. You're turning blue. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You're going to ruin this episode just like Orange always does. No, no, no. I promise I'll be good. You pinky promise? Pinky promise. Ugh. Okay, so today's story is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Once upon a time. Wait, I just remembered something. What? <laughs> I don't have a pinky. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, once upon a time, there was a gigantic chocolate factory run by the brilliant and reclusive Willy Wonka. No one had ever been allowed inside to see how his candy was made, but that all changed one day when Willy Wonka announced that inside five Wonka bars, he had placed... Laser guns! <laughs> Really? Sis, you know very well that there wasn't laser guns inside the candy bar wrappers. Yeah, I know, but the story was getting kind of boring. This is an incredible story, sis. It's not boring. Well, sure. Now it's not, because five lucky kids just nearly got killed by laser guns. Now this is cinema. Yeah! Laser, 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 laser! This isn't supposed to be cinema, sis. It's a book. And the kids did not find laser guns. They found golden tickets. Mmm, not very visually stimulating. Oh, you know what this story needs? Some audio stimulation. <laughs> Stop trying to stimulate the story. It's a very good story, and it doesn't need your help. I can't help it. I had a soda earlier. Now then. Willy Wonka invited all five ticket holders into the chocolate factory and gave them a tour of the wondrous things inside. Three course meal bubble gum, train squirrels, fizzy lifting drink, Wonka vision, and of course, Oopa Loopas. Everything was going great. That is, until the greedy gluttonous Augustus Gloop fell into the chocolate river and got sucked up a tube. Whoa, okay, now we're talking. So let me guess. Then the other kids called the cops, and they busted in, laser guns blazing. Willy Wonka didn't go down without a fight, though. Pew, pew, pew! Sis! Pew, 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 pew! Sis, that's not what happened! What do you mean there wasn't a laser gun fight? I mean, nobody even called the cops. After Augustus Gloop got sucked up that tube, the tour group just kind of carried on as planned. You're kidding me! Oh, and also the Oopa Loopas did a song and dance number. They danced after a kid got sucked into a tube? What kind of sociopathic story is this? Yeesh! You know what this book could really use more of? Empathy for children? Nope. Lasers! <laughs> yeah! Now we're talking pew, 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 pew! Pew, pew, pew! Stop it! Stop it! The Oopa Loopas did not have laser cannons strapped to their heads. Bummer. This story could have been a classic. It already is a classic. No way. Classic would be the cops busting in with laser guns and chasing Willy Wonka through the entire chocolate factory, which is elaborately booby trapped. It's not that kind of story, sis. It is now, Pear. Yeah, everywhere you look, cops with laser guns are getting wasted. And Oompa Loompa throws some three-course dinner chewing gum down a cop's throat, and he turns into a blueberry. Then Wonka squirrels attack and throw another cop down the garbage chute. Just when the cops think they have Wonka cornered, he escapes over their heads in a million tiny pieces via Wonka vision. Ugh, this is an abomination. But I honestly kind of want to know how it ends. It ends with the cops tricking Willy Wonka into drinking some fizzy lifting drink, and he floats up into that huge overhead fan! <laughs> uh. Yeah, Super Grizzly Demise. Pear, 
Junior, this book is not recommended for children. Wait, so what happens to Charlie? You know, the titular character? Oh, he flies off in a glass elevator at the end. Oh, well that's a relief. Glad it's a happy ending. Not really. One of those laser beams is in there with him. <laughs> the end. Uh, 